Welcome card catchers, trainers, and collectors. This is Catch 'em All 22 and welcome to the Catch 'em Crew. Today we found some very interesting things. I went to my local Walgreens and by surprise I actually found Pokemon cards. I go there all the time y'all and 99.9% .9 of the time, nada, nothing. So went by there and we found a whole Pokemon display that they had put behind the register. I about missed it. I was on my way out the store, checked the usual Pokemon spot, nothing there. Look behind the register. Ooh, we found the Pokemon and they had some mystery packs. Mystery packs I've never seen before. Um, we did just do a video over these mystery boxes at Walmart and these are supposed to be a Walmart exclusive where you can only get them at Walmart. Um, I opened up a couple of those on the channel, go check that video out. We were hunting and hoping for vintage packs and we did not find any. We only opened up two boxes. I was only able to get three boxes. Uh, somebody else ended up getting all of them. But we opened up two, it said one in every four, I do believe, seated vintage packs. We did not find one. But today we have an individual mystery pack. That is right. And on the front is Charizard on the Platinum. Very, very, very cool. We managed to get our hands on five of these. Very cool piece of merchandise. I cannot wait to open this and see what comes in it. If we don't get a vintage pack, I am curious to see what set we are going to get. It says, look for chase packs seated one in every five. So today, instead of opening two or three, we're going to open up five. That way we can see the chances of a vintage pack. <laughs> Full disclosure though, if we do find a vintage pack, I'm going to keep it sealed, y'all, if it's a really good vintage pack. But anything else is free game. We'll open it up for y'all on the channel today. So let's quit wasting time. Let's get down there and let's bust open some packs. Here we go. Ta-da! Here they are, mystery pack, and it is a single mystery pack. I've seen mystery boxes, but have not seen a mystery pack. Um, I went ahead and bought one for the sealed collection. This is going to keep sealed behind me. We'll find a spot for it. We always love sealed merchandise. But if you can't tell, or if you can't read it right there, it includes one booster pack, one foil card, and one code card and then look for chase packs seated one through five. Well, you might be asking yourself, what packs, vintage packs, do you get a chance at? Because some people are saying any XY series is gonna be considered a vintage pack now. If you flip it over, it says included. Look for vintage packs from the following eras. Platinum, heart gold and soul silver, black and white. If you ask me out of those three, I, I want black and white most, but I'll take a platinum. And it is from MJ Holding Company, a second party reseller that buys sealed Pokemon products and resells them. And I've actually had great luck with this uh, MJ Holding Company. So do not knock it too much. Yes, they are not the most popular, but some people get great things. So let's, let's start with the very first mystery pack. Woo, I'm excited. And it is a mystery. So how are we going to do this? What I'm gonna do is try my best to keep it hidden until we can showcase it. But, like I said, if we do not get a vintage pack, I am curious what set selection we're gonna get today. And this will give y'all an idea if y'all see these out there and if y'all wanna risk spending the money on them. They were $8.99 after tax, it was $9.94, so basically $10. So let's scoot this over. Okay. So there we go. I'm so excited. Okay. We're going to flip it in three, two, one. Oh, we got an Ultra Prism, but I will take it. Full Art Lily, here we come. Right, right? I've been hunting down that Full Art Lily for a while. There's the code, and it came from XY Trainer Kit, Pikachu, Libre, and Suzum. I got that last time in the mystery box. And there we go for our mystery item. Our one foil card, excuse me, Luri Corlo. Is that Detective Pikachu? I do believe it is Detective Pikachu. Very cool. Let's put that on display while we bust open this Ultra Prison pack. See if it comes with a hit. 
No, it is not a vintage pack, but it does have great things in them. I've done two different Ultra Prism hunts, and we are specifically hunting for the Full Art Lily, because that thing is worth a lot of money, and I was surprised. We did not find it though, so it would be nice to find it here. Fire, and it is grass. How good are these mystery packs? If you don't get to vintage, will you still possibly get a hit? Let's see. Very cool, reverse energy. And a fan Rotom. I don't have this Rotom yet. This set, y'all, if y'all did not know, has a ton of Rotoms. Heat Rotom. Ice Rotom, Water Rotom, and now a Fan Rotom, but I can honestly 100% say I don't have that for the set. So hey, at least we got a card for the set, but no vintage pack there. Let's put this off to the side, and let's start from scratch. It's a mystery. Since I know how everything's in there, what I'm going to do is flip it and we'll go do it this way. There's the reverse hollow, Axu. Alright. Code card, and this is from Shining Legends Pin Collection, Mars Shadow. And let's see what we got, y'all. No way! We, we got a hidden face. Oh! It is not vintage. But man, wow. Okay, I was going to mention when I bought these Walmart exclusive mystery boxes, I watched other people, as many people as I could find, open these and nobody yet from what I've seen has pulled a vintage pack out of them, but I haven't looked too hard. But somebody did get Hidden Fates as their two choices. And I was hoping and praying maybe these could have some hidden fates and it actually had some hidden fates all right what I'm gonna do is actually save the packs that first one was a test run we were just testing out seeing what was gonna happen we'll go ahead and bust them all open see what sets we're gonna get today and man I will gladly take some more hidden fates y'all go buy these up they were nine eight ninety nine basically ten dollars a ten bill you're gonna spend ten dollars if you want one but I was very surprised that Walgreens had them in stock. Very, very surprised. This one's being a little tougher to open. There we go. I know some of y'all experts out there can tell exactly what set it's from by the pack art, and that right there, I, I can't really tell you. Maybe Crimson Invasion? I'm not sure, but it's got some metal gears or something there. There's the reverse Eakins, the foil card technically you get in each pack. Here's the code, XY Trainer Kit, Pikachu, Libra, and Suzume from same as the first mystery pack where we got Ultra Prism. And let's see what it is. It's a Steam Siege, so I will keep that in mind next time I see those gears. And that was probably like not the best thing you can get out of it, but it still has some great things. Steam Siege still has some really awesome stuff. It's just really tough to pull from. All right, get ready, y'all. Can we find vintage packs today? It would be crazy. Why do I keep doing it that way? I don't want to see it yet. But like I said, some of y'all experts can tell from the back. Okay, so this pack's looking a little different. Oh, sorry about that. Screw. We got a reverse Scyther from Hidden Fates. So could this be another Hidden Fates pack? No, not necessarily. The last promo was from Hidden Fates as well and we ended up getting a Steam Siege. There's the code card from the same piece of merchandise as the last two XY Trainer Kit, Pikachu, Libre, and Suzume. The best code card we have got, though, and I am very shocked and surprised, Shining Legends Pin Collection. Okay, 
All right, did we get something vintage? This pack looks kind of newish to me. I don't recognize it. It might be Shining Legend, y'all. Let's see. It is Shining Legends. Dang. All right. I got to make some tough decisions. So this is not necessarily one of the three vintage. So we're going to place it down there. I got a bug crawling on my table. What are you? I'm sorry. Nature is invading my space. But so far, we got two very surprising sets that I am just astounded by. If I get some more cash soon, I am definitely going to get some more of these. But y'all know the odds of there being any left are just slim to absolutely none. But you can hope. You can always hope. That is awesome, y'all. We got Shining Legends. I've never opened up a Shining Legends. And we got another Hidden Fates pack. I can already tell you. So this is great. I'm going to go try to find as many more of these as I can. Considering even though we did not get vintage, we got really great sets. But that was the same trainer kit, Pikachu, and all that. <laughs> Hidden Fates Charizard pack. So I am, I'm just... Okay. Let me take a minute. Let me collect myself. Um, Y'all, we're going to have to open up something in place of Shining Legends because I do not have one for my sealed pack collection yet, and I really want it. So we're going to put this off to the side. Man, let's look at it one more time. It is the Mew pack, the Shiny Mew pack. Very sick and very nice condition. I'm grateful. I hope y'all understand. Come on, hit that like, hit that like. Don't hit that dislike for that. But in, in, in return, we will go ahead and open up something where we could still possibly get a shiny. So I hope Shining Fates, the new ish set behind Battle Styles, is a well enough substitution for Shining Legends. I found these mini tins pretty recently, and I've been saving this one. Rashiram tin, very nice tin. I've opened up all these tins, y'all, and more. So, if you want to go see some tins opened up live with my nephew, go check the channel out and you will find it. I'm filling a Toxtricity pack. We'll save this for later. All right, so there we have our packs for the video that we're going to go ahead and open. We're going to start with Steam Siege. Steam Siege. And let's just keep in mind, y'all, every single set on the table right now has a shiny in it. Steam Siege has shinies. Not, not a lot of people know that or just don't really talk about it a lot. They're just not featured as like holographics and stuff like that. But I, there are a few that are hollow, actually. I did pull one recently. Steam Siege, draw three. Can we get a hit from Steam Siege, y'all? I've done it before. I would not mind doing it again. Drift, Loom, Apom, Minky, Shellos, Krogunk, Aeroverse, Nidorino. Very cool. Psychic eyeballs all over the card. And we got, we did get a white and green hit. Hydragon, starting it off with a hit, hollow hit. I will take it. Very nice. All right. Once again, sorry, I'm eyeballing that Shining Legends pack. I apologize for not opening it. I just don't have any Shining Legends accessible to me. I have one Shining Legends piece of merchandise, and it is up in the sealed collection. That will be in the sealed collection, but any other Shining Legends I can get my hands on or find, like for instance, when I go buy more of these, I will definitely open for y'all, so come back for that. But I do again apologize. I know some people are going to frown upon that and myself having second thoughts, but I got to keep it sealed, y'all. I got to keep it sealed. But we're going to get into a Hidden Fates pack with the hopes of like a full art shiny. That would be sick. And it would let you know these are actually worth the buy. Psychic. And it is water. Alright, anything can happen with Hidden Fates as well as Shining Fates. Two amazing sets with amazing shinies. 
Let's see what happens. And there's no shiny and no awesome hit. So the first hidden face pack was a dud, keep that in mind. And let's switch it up to the second hidden face pack. Fire energy. And it is fairy. Come on, hidden fates. It's warming up. It's just warming up. That's that's all it is. That's all it's doing. Brock's grit. Misty's determination. Magic art. Coughing. Clee fairy. A star you. Jigglypuff. There we go. We did. We got a hit for this mystery box. And it was a shiny pork pole ultra beast. And we got an R box. Psychic backing up psychic. Nice. So, the only thing is, are you willing to risk $10 bill for one pack? And it might not be a vintage pack. But I know a lot of people willing to pay $10 for a Hidden Fates pack, Shining Fates pack, and for sure a Shining Legend pack. So, what do y'all think? Could I title this video as Pulling Vintage? I think technically we could. I just don't want to clickbait anybody, you know. And this is going to be Shining Fates. Why did I do that? It's Shining Fates. Sorry, I was worried about the code card, but every single code card is white and green and Shining Fates. Uh, we're going to end the video off with a fire energy because I know there's some fire in this last pack. And nope. It's psychic, but hopefully there's still some fire in this last pack. Regardless, we will go over all the awesome stuff we got today, and I'm happy. I am very happy, y'all. What would y'all what, what, what would y'all be right now? Would y'all be happy? I'm very happy. So happy? I'm the happiest. I'm happy. Shining fates. Ah! Oh no, shiny there, and no holographic hit. But. We did manage to walk away with Hydragon Hollow from Steam Siege, a Pork Bowl from Hidden Fates. Really surprised that I got that one, really. And then this is the Showstopper, the Shining Legends pack. Well worth $9.94. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So everybody, I hope that video helped you out a lot on what could possibly come in these mystery single packs. Shining Legends to me is a very good win. I will consider it vintage, but technically it is not one of the three vintage packs displayed on the back. I don't care, I'm gonna title it Vintage Pack Shining Legends. Gee, and it's the shiny Mew. I love Mew. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope y'all find some of these. I found them at Walgreens. They might be also at CVS or any other company affiliated with Walgreens. Good luck out there, Pokey Hunters. I really hope y'all find some. Cross your fingers for me. Hopefully I can find some more. Hopefully there's some left. And if there is, you can guarantee we're gonna open it up on the channel. Y'all, be safe out there, but don't forget to hit those buttons below. Hit the like, hit the sub, and don't forget, catch them all.